Hey guys, hope you like doing vlog. In previous KT session, we saw how can we expose blue prism processes as web service. And in this session, we will see how can we consume the SOAP web services in our blue prism processes. So let's start this session. In the world of blue prism, we have two main ways of dealing with web services which are like special functions on the internet first we can use them as part of our regular task just like we use other tools in our work means uh, if there is already any web service available on the internet we can use that this is the first method and second one is Blue Prism itself can become a superhero by sharing its processes with the world through web services. So uh, in, like in last video, we have exposed our uh, processes as web services. So we can share the processes in the form of uh, web services. Now, when we work in the process studio where we build our automation task or processes, web services look and act just like any other tool we use. Like in our Blue Prism studio, we use uh, uh, another business objects in our process. Similarly, we can use a uh, blue uh, web API services, but first we need to configure them. Let me show you. So this is the process of uh, virtual assistant bot. Uh, we created this bot and this bot can uh, give the answer of your question. You can ask anything. You can uh, watch this uh, video for more details. So when we go to process studio, we can take an action stage. And when we open this action stage, we can, we can't only select a business object. We can also select web services, web APIs. See, we can see this heading, uh, web API services and also SOAP web services. So this uh, business object heading should be changed uh, by Blue Prism because this drop down is not only for business object. Uh, it is uh, also contains lot of another uh, useful elements or entities. So see uh, under SOAP Web Services, we have virtual assistant board service. Okay, so let me show you how can you uh, Consume your SOAP web service in Blue Prism. So for, before that, uh, let me tell you one thing. Blue Prism Enterprise only supports WSTL files that conform to the WSTL 1.1, WSTL 1.2 or WSTL 2 specifications. WSTL version 1 and earlier are not compliant with this specification. So app services using these are not supported by Blue Prism. If you want to consume data from web service using a WSDL one specification, then you must uh, first amend the relevant file to make it compliant with the WSDL 1.1 specification or higher. For example, by adding a WSDL definition at the top of the file. So before using this uh, soap app services, you make sure that uh, this uh, this is uh, this shouldn't be the uh, earlier I mean uh, the version of uh, w WSTL should not be uh, version one or any earlier version. So to configure web services as a business object, navigate to System tab and click on Objects, and there you can see SOAP Web Services. So here we already have a web service uh, which was showing in that. A drop down in action. Our KTS buddy will share the steps of adding a new WSTL or new web service in the Blue Prism. So over to you, KTS buddy. The add a web service wizard consists of three or four stages depending on the nature of the service being added. Step one: supply the URL of AWSDL. Please input the URL of AWSDL document describing the web service that you would like to add. Step 2. Choose a web service. If the WSDL document supplied in the last step describes more than one web service then you will be asked to choose one of the listed services. If you wish to add all such services then you will have to repeat the wizard adding them one by one. 
if the WSDL document only describes one service then this step will be skipped automatically. Step 3 Choose which methods you wish to make available. A list of methods offered by the web service will be presented. Place a check mark next to each method which you would like to make available in Process Studio under this service. Step 4 Choose a name for the service. Give a name to your web service. This can be any name and will be the name which appears in Process Studio to identify the web service. Okay, so we have added this mode can speak web service in our uh, Blue Prism. So, uh, when we go to the action stage, now open an action stage and under so web services, we can see this mode can speak service and this is the action. So this action list will show all the web services, which are the part of your uh, WSTL. And also while uh, uh, exporting the exposing the web API service, you can give the specific description of the web service so it will become easier for another developer to understand the use of this web api sorry web service so let me show you one web service this is a super simple wstl file and it provides two services to convert a temperature from celsius to fahrenheit and vice versa and we are going to import uh, uh sorry consume this web service or we can say we are going to add this service in our blue prism so we will go to this and enter this wsdl url uh, basically wsdl is for web service description and here we can give uh if there is any authentication required or we need any password or username password we can give it here and the timeout we can select okay so it got uh, see we can see a list of app service or uh, definitions when we click on next we can select uh, the service name so only one service is available now click on next and here we can see two method means actions so these are basically actions when we click on next uh, we can uh, change the name as well Click on finish now. Go back to the process and refresh or reset. And open the action stage. And here we can see temperature convert. And there are two actions. See, we can easily use this. No need to create any object, business object. Just take a uh, just take a web service from your friend or from internet and just use it. See Fahrenheit to Celsius, we can give the input and in output we will get the Celsius result. Click on OK. Just execute this stage. So thanks for watching this video guys. Do comment your doubts or queries if you have any.